Hey everyone, my name is Ishan and I welcome you all to this session. In this video, we will have a look at some DevOps real time scenarios. DevOps has helped businesses of all types, whether startups or Fortune 500 companies, all of them have started moving towards DevOps, as all of them are interested in improving the speed and quality of software development. And to name a few organizations, we have NASA, Amazon, Netflix, Walmart, and Facebook. DevOps have helped these companies in fixing several issues and overcoming several challenges. Here in this video, we shall have a look at some real-time problems that DevOps helped in solving. Let's have a look at all the topics we will be covering today. First, we shall learn the basics of DevOps. Then, we shall have a look at some advantages of DevOps, followed by some real-time scenarios. In our main topic, that is, real-time scenarios, we shall have a look at four significant parts. Continuous integration scenarios, continuous testing scenarios, continuous delivery scenarios, and DevOps scenarios. So without any further ado, let's get started. But before we begin, make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, the first topic we have is, what is DevOps? DevOps is a software engineering culture that unifies the development and operations team under an umbrella of tools to automate every stage. There are several phases in the DevOps life cycle, beginning from the planning phase and going up to the monitoring phase. The stages of DevOps begin with planning and coding. In these phases, tools like Git and Jira software are used to provide a repository for managing and storing various code versions. Then comes the build phase. In this phase, the tools like Gradle and Maven are used to automatically fetch the source code from the repositories and package them into executable applications. After the build phase comes the test phase. Testing in DevOps is automated within the build pipeline to ensure that the applications are deployable. The most common tool in this phase is Selenium. Next comes the deploy and operate phase, where tools like Puppet and Chef are used to push the ready applications to the deployment phase and continuously configure them to the right state. Moving forth comes the monitor phase, where the release products are continuously monitored. The most common tool used here is Negios. DevOps stages will be incomplete if we don't talk about the integration phase. The integration phase is the heart of DevOps, continuously automating the integration of all the different stages. The most popular tool that makes the process possible is Jenkins. Now, when we know the basics of DevOps and the stages in DevOps, let's have a look at some benefits of DevOps. Benefits of DevOps may be categorized under the following categories. The first category is adaptability. DevOps makes it possible for organizations to adapt better to market trends and yield the maximum outputs. Then another benefit of DevOps is fast delivery. DevOps makes it possible to increase the pace of releases, bug fixing and response to customers. The third category here is reliability. DevOps ensures the quality of infrastructure and application updates. Moving forward, another critical category is improved collaboration. DevOps makes it possible to have effective team building that has core values like ownership and accountability. The last category we shall see is security. Automation increases consistency and predictability that reduces human errors. Now, let's have a look at our main topic, that is real-time scenarios. Before diving deep into the subject, let's understand what does real-time scenarios mean. Real-time scenarios refer to the problems, issues, or challenges that happen in our daily lives. In this section, we shall have a look at the ways how we can overcome such issues. We have divided the real-time scenarios into four subsections. First being the continuous integration scenarios. Second is the continuous testing scenarios. Then third comes the continuous delivery scenarios. And finally, we have the DevOps scenarios. So let's begin with continuous integration scenarios. 
the first scenario in this section is continuous integration may decrease productivity the problem here is that the product is made live as soon as the first working model is created the project managers pay most of their attention to launching new features and ensuring that deadlines are met there may be conditions that developer has to pause everything else and fix the bugs first now let's have a look at the key points that could be done to solve this there may be daily stand ups with all the team members then project managers must understand all the team members it is really of great importance to have a proper roadmap for developers and lastly having continuous integration in the entire process is of utmost necessity the second scenario in the continuous integration section is adopting a new way of testing the challenge here is that the development process is slowed down when the project is tested at each and every step there have to be more test which means in order to write more test cases it will take more time then developers need to create the test cases that can be used in the testing process now let's have a look at some key points about what could be done to curb this challenge there must be a habit of writing test cases from the beginning of the test case the team must know and understand that development along with testing makes a project robust then the third and the last scenario in this category is ignoring of error messages the challenge here is that developers must not ignore error messages these error messages must be read as they provide hints to developers to solve problems and challenges if such messages are ignored they may result in the wastage of money and resources now let's have a look at some key points that could be taken to face this real time problem the first simple step is to send only crucial messages then the developers in charge should only receive the relevant alerts which means that it is not necessary for all the developers to receive messages for all the problems the developers must receive messages for errors that particularly concern them after the continuous integration scenarios let's have a look at the continuous testing scenarios if you are enjoying this video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our youtube channel so you never miss an update from simply learn in this section the first real time scenario we have is right requirement specifications this scenario talks about the teams spending a lot of time and efforts on clarifying the requirement specifications if a team is able to set the right requirements then almost half of the project is already successful so it is very important to have specific and accurate understanding of requirements which helps in designing the test plans better the scenario for the states that the teams must adopt model based testing and behavior driven development techniques and the adoption of such techniques will help generate the right test cases from the initial steps of each stage and help resolve the gaps more quickly then the second scenario here is making of feedback loops the scenario concerns the feedback loops at every stage if there is no feedback at every stage of the development cycle how will the testing be possible the process of continuous testing is not possible without frequent feedback loops at every stage of the development cycle for the automation of the testing process visibility of test execution and results are of great importance the next scenario in this continuous testing scenarios is the management of complexity it states that continuous testing becomes more complex as it moves towards the production environment the number of tests grow along with the complexity of the code the tests are to be updated every time the phases are updated this increases the overall time to run these tests eventually delaying the release process the solution of the problem is improved test orchestration it provides the right amount of test coverage in shorter sprint cycles and enables teams to deliver confidently the fourth and the last scenario that we shall see in the section is integration of pipeline the most important and the basic thing needed for the implementation of continuous testing is the automated pipeline to enable automation it is necessary to integrate a pipeline 
Then there is a term called pipeline orchestration that is based on understanding when to scale, how to analyze results, how to scale, why it works and how it works. Moving forth, let's have a look at a third subsection of real time scenarios that is the continuous delivery scenarios. The first scenario in the section is slow deployments and no standalone product. At times, the complexity increases to such a level where having uncertainty in terms of what to deploy, where and how is a normal thing. The old development process was time consuming, which led to slower deployment and delivery as well. But now, this is not the case. Continuous development is backed up by continuous integration followed by continuous delivery. Continuous integration with new features makes sure that a standalone product is delivered at completion. The second scenario here is monitoring of the product. Here, the challenge is to know what to monitor. As to know what to monitor is a difficult task. Sometimes, irrelevant data is produced. There may be times when the amount of messages received as a result of monitoring may be so much that it is difficult to analyze by the developer. Or sometimes, they might be very less for the developer to figure out the bugs. So to know how much to monitor may be a challenge in itself. We must understand that monitoring the product after delivery is an essential process of development. And then also, the process of bug fixing and product maintenance requires the right amount of monitor log. The third and the last scenario in this continuous delivery section is the missing of some dependencies. There might be cases when a build is out of date and some dependencies are missing. These missing dependencies can lead to the failure of the product. This may be costlier as maintenance is the more significant part of the development life cycle. Hence, while deploying, it is important to make sure that the software is well tested and packed. Now, when we have covered our three subsections, let's have a look at our last section, that is DevOps scenarios. The first scenario is resolving problems. DevOps promotes transparency among different teams in an organization. The entire DevOps scenario brings a development team, operations team and security team together and makes them collaborate with each other efficiently and effectively. Successful implementation of DevOps increases the speed of tracing problems, in turn increasing the chances of problems being fixed at an early stage. The second DevOps scenario is the simplification of business process. As DevOps brings the teams closer and there is a better definition to all the segments of the project, this makes the process simplified by reducing complex tasks into simpler processes. Therefore, the time taken to complete the process reduces extensively. Moving forth, the next real-time scenario is faster release cycles. DevOps drive development teams in the direction of continuous improvement and faster release cycles. This is how DevOps promotes faster release cycles along with continuous improvement. This process in turn provides more time to focus on some other factors that really matter. The reduced time plays an important role in providing better user experience. Here, the last DevOps scenario we shall see is deliver value to the customers. DevOps teams can focus on business activities as the deployment pipelines are automated. The culture reduces the time to deliver the value to the customers. One of the biggest focuses of the team is to create more customer value. DevOps activities increase the sustainable competitive advantage of a company and create better business outcomes. And so with this, we have come to the end of our real-time scenario session. We learnt about different real-time scenarios on the basis of integration, testing, delivery and in general DevOps. I hope you guys found it informative and helpful. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.